Hey guys, my name is Sandy Egg and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Where last episode we went a little bit of a expansion crazy, if you know what I mean. We've set up this brand new train line which picks up wood or planks. Uh, well, first we drop off wood, turn into planks at the sawmill, which drops the wood over to here, which produces tools, which sends it over here to drop them off, which picks up the fuel to bring it back here. It's a complex little system, which I'm quite uh, impressed and proud of. Uh, it doesn't really make much money if that, well, if that really. But today we're going to try and ramp it up because now time has passed. Stuff has happened where now we start to get a lot more stuff waiting at the stations for each one which is a really good thing for us. So we've created the demand, we've got the demand, now it's time to take action and try and get some sweet, sweet money into our bank accounts. Not like that we need it, because we've got like 200 million in there right now. We also set up a, um, a shipping route as well, which, which is slowly starting to make money. Which I can't wait till it does, because again, we're creating that freaking demand. So as always guys, if you enjoy Transport Fever 2 and want to see more, then make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, then please make sure you do subscribe. But today, we're going expansion crazy. Now, we did have a little issue with um, this line over here, with the fact that it wasn't producing as much oil, or producing oil as quick as I would like. And we do have a little oil kind of uh, well over here, so I'm going to kind of... Um, set up a little rule, a little bridge over which would be quite nice and take half the vehicles sucking oil from over here because there's a big queue there and get them on this line so this uh, refinery can start producing more which will be um, perfect for us again because at the moment there's only one stored so it just needs more coming in basically so more oil there means it ships more well more crude oil means it ships more oil over here which then, even though this refinery doesn't need to produce any more than it actually does, it just slows down the progress, because uh, that will eventually come to a halt if this is not pumping more out more regularly. So, we've got a lot of stuff that we need to do. So, I think I'll first take a look. Is, is this the, the multi-line train here? No. Where is it? Oh, it's here right now. So, I'm actually going to upgrade this. So, manage the vehicle. And um, we're going to simply um, edit it. Now, we don't really have anything cargo-wise that is additional to what we currently have. I just need to add a few extra of these on. So I'm going to get two extra fuel tanks. Two extra, is it these ones that carry the tools? Two extra of those. And the ones that carry the wooden planks, two extra of these. So there's a little bit extra of each one. I don't know whether to kind of add in a new vehicle, a new train on it. Because this current one that we have is this one here, which costs us 8.5 million a year. The power that it pumps out is 2.3k. In terms of steam, anything come close to it, this, which is 7 million, which doesn't really scream, yo, Cineac, change it up, boy. Um, so, no. Nothing really shouts out, you gotta do this. Um... If I switch it up to, let's say I deleted that and place down, because this is like two some million less, it's still good. So a year, I'm saving 2.5 million, which is a big help. So let's switch this up then. There we go. And let's see how that then performs as a train. Because it might be a little bit slower, but like I said, it's literally less a year to run which is good for us so while that happens then let's get this other route set up then and underway so uh roads we'll go for that should we go for a medium street or should we go for like a normal street small country lane is probably the better one i've got to get a bridge I'm going across just here so if i went straight like that 1.3 million what do I go with? That or that? Let's go for this style. It feels 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 fitting. Cost us two million, but what is going to make us in the long run is going to be beautiful, boys. All right, let's get that up and round. So we'll carve through the hill slightly because it's the quickest and easiest inclined route. Uh, right, so buildings. Obviously, I want that cargo cargo line, boys. Right, that's quite close to over there, so I'm going to drop it here. 
And first things first, oh, we've got some new trains available. Why can't I move? There we go. We're going to... Actually, I won't do it just yet. And oh, what we can do is rather than adding a new line, I can extend the line. So we're looking for the crude oil import here. If I add a station... So after you get the Halesworth South, we'll go over to here and then back to Halesworth South. So this upper Brentford is where it's coming from. We get a full load of the crude... There we go. Should we just add on to it? So we're going back and forth. So we can disperse it a lot more evenly, which is pretty nice. So what I'm going to do is configure this um, area now just to kind of simply be able to store more goods. I know I'm extending quite crazy, but the more I can have on it, the better for us. Right, let that do its thing then. And I think more I need to do now. So that saves me from building an extra line. And maybe potentially in the future get extra vehicles. We'll just separate a little bit more. So then all these vehicles that are currently waiting. They can be bringing the sweet, sweet stuff to and from a whole lot quicker. And it might mean that I then need to eventually have more vehicles on the line. But we'll just kind of see how that goes in the long run. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So that's not the train. Where's the current train? It is. It's over here. So how's that then? So it's currently in profit. And it'll pick up the goods again. So now it's not in profit, but we'll pick up the goods again. Uh, which is going to get a load of uh, planks of wood right now. Cha-ching, boys. Doesn't even make a dent on that station. Take it back. Pick up some tools, drop off some wood. We're Gucci, mate. We're Gucci. So in terms of lines, then... Um, balance. So, it's the one... It's it's an awkward thing, this line. It, it's awkward in the sense that it depends when you catch it and when it's making money. In general, we've now reduced, technically, the outgoings of how much it costs to run a year. I'm just hoping that it's quick enough to get to and from the stations to make that money. That's my only concern with it, to be honest. So, it's going to come in right now. And how much do we get in return now for dropping off the wood? See, 800 and... Uh, so that makes us in profit again. Picks up the goods. Now, can we get to that station over here before the year ends? If so, then that puts us into even more profit again. And then as the year is complete, we've made money. And we've got oil to take, which will take a while. So, yeah, this should get there before the year ends. So then where it kind of balances out with how much it costs us to run. So this would drop off the tools right now. Cha-ching, 600. Look at that, it shoots up. Now, can this get the fuel in time? I don't think it's going to get the fuel over to Brentford in time. But if it doesn't, it's made profit for the year. It's made 109,000 for the year, which doesn't seem like... Oh, actually, no, quite a bit more. What's going on, boy? What's going on? Um, so, the year's now ended. So, you can see the income was a lot higher than the expenses. We're going to start this year with a big load of um, fuel coming in. We got Oh, we've got new stuff. Hold on. I can actually edit that vehicle again. Right, hold on, boys. Manage vehicle. So, we're going to edit the selected vehicle. So I should have new, in terms of like, like fuel tanks, where these hold 15, whereas that one held 9. And it also might mean that I need to change... Right, let, let's, just, let's just do it all again. Let's just do it all again. So, we'll add in... Well, let's start with the, the train first. So no diesel, we've got electric, we got steam. So the one of the highest one is nearly two thousand there. Electric. See the top speed is seventy five on that. Oh three thousand. But it's a little bit too slow. But then again, that one. That one. Oh, I should have had this one in the first place. It's just one twenty five. Right, let me grab that and then we'll see how it holds up with the cargo. So with wood then we'll do this again, it holds thirteen, whereas the other one was holding eight. Right, one, two, three, four. 
and then we need the box car which holds the tools one two three four then the tankers one two three four that makes it good So four of each should be pretty sweet, mate. Uh, do I go four of each or do I go for the fifth one? Let's go for a fifth one. I can't drag it, can I? No, it'd be so good if I could drag it. But that's not even the one I want, is it? No. <laughs> right, we're going with uh, five each. And it might mean that I have to then change it. Do you know what? With the actual these being as big capacity as they are, it might then make it beneficial to have the original... The original electric train. It was very expensive to, to run. But with these now being as high capacity as they are... These uh, might be sufficient enough. It says mediocre, and that's what I don't like about it. We'll give it a go. You, you, you never know. Okay, which one was it? Was it this one? I think it was this one. No, it was that one we had originally, but I'm going to go with this one. No, actually, no. It was this one. 100 kilometers. Had the power. And that makes it good. Right, we're going to go with that. And we'll see how that goes. So it will take a while before we start to see any benefits of that again. But this can pull... It has a little bit more pulling power. We can add more onto it. So this should pick up now. It picks up 65. Wow. That's, a, that's definitely a lot more than what we had before. Definitely a lot more. So let me just see how it originally comes back down to here then. And then we're going to go check all the other lines. I'm going to check the boating lines and do something new as well. So we wait for this to come in. It's on the way down. How's that other line, by the way? There's no hold-ups anywhere, is there? It's flowing wonderfully. And we've got loads, loads of crude oil now storing up. So that was a good shout to extend that line. Big shout. Right, it's coming in then. And how much does it make? Once it drops off the goods... One million. See, I need those big paydays. And that takes every single bit of tools as well. That's got enough now to start producing more. So we could see some big gains on this one right now. We could see some very big gains. Right, okay. So while we wait for that to get over to there then, I need to start producing food. So that is my next goal, which I need to sort that system back out over there. That's something else I need to slightly upgrade. So I'm pretty much upgrading all my lines at the moment. So this comes in, makes 700,000. And then that should then throw a load of fuel on top. Which it's not fully loaded with the fuel, so we don't have as much as we could have possibly um, took then for a second. Uh, but that's okay. Finances, we should then, once it gets over here... Okay, it's only August, so we could still potentially get, get more planks of wood and take it back to the tool place. So this is here now, drops it off, get 500,000, we're now into the profit. So keep it going, we're going to make loads of money off that. So this is my other issue then, we had the same problem, oh we got some traffic building up over here. We had the same problem, we got the same problem here as what we had with the oil. So we need to get another route set up because these are not producing enough. So that's when you then need to question, maybe we need to throw the vehicles uh, onto a new line. And I think I might merge the wheat line and do like a back and forth, because we might have to incorporate this one. And then we do a back and forth. We collect there, drop there, collect there, drop there, collect there, drop there, collect there, drop there. Do a, like a, a triangle back and forth. Where's the other wheat places? There's one over there in the distance. There's one up here as well. But this one is the the closer looking one. So. Yeah, it might be the way I have to go forward. We've got airplanes on the go. Or do I bring it from this one? Because, as, yeah, as, that has to go through the town to get to over here. Where I could hook up a, a simple, quick, speedy line that way, couldn't I? Yeah, so 60, we'll go 80 kilometers. 
do an AE, AE KM road. So if I brought this... So there, I'm trying to avoid it making... The tunnel. I want it to go all the way over there, don't I? So i got to do a slight little bend. So if I bring it close to these as well, we can utilize this road for other stuff. Try and keep the costs low. I'm, I'm penny pinching as much as possible. Bring that to there. Nice. So it, now it's going to mean that I slightly destroy my... Um, hold on, buildings. No, I'm on the wrong thing. My food import line, my uh, grain import. But it'll be for the benefit. I promise you this. All right, if I turn that slightly sideways because it means I can then add quite a long extension onto it. So what this means, and if I go to my lines and my, I mean, let me go grab the vehicles. So we've got wheat import, wheat import two. So I'm going to create a new line altogether. And what it would do is it will start here drop off there, go to here, drop off there, go to here, drop off there. That's what it's going to do. So when it gets to Watford here, I want full, top some, full, lower top some, full loads. That's literally how it's going to work. I've got to sort out what station it lands on on this in just a moment. But then, let me grab the vehicles to the two wheat imports. So grab all these vehicles now. And I'm going to throw these all on. Uh, which will be our line one. Because I haven't given it a name just yet. Which then means these two lines, the wheat lines, I can now get rid of. Don't need them no more. Let me just configure this. Because I want to try and like, get it where... Because they basically they come to this station three times, so it'll be nice. Let me can I can I pause this quickly? So it'll be nice to get it where the free time every time they come here, like the free times, they're using a different platform. If that makes sense, right? Street access from there and there. Okay, so I'm going to incorporate the roads into this as well. So streets. I don't know if it would be any benefit to kind of go down that like that way. But I'm adding in the option there. Because it might then... If they choose to go down here, there will be less vehicles going down here. Because you can see the traffic building up. It's not good, is it? The traffic kind of flowing up like that. Uh, they're quite large. What, what would it do? to ki Would it kill this off? It would. But it might be something that I need to do is to kind of create... Right, I'm going to have to hurt Market Drayton for a minute. While I get a larger road cutting through it. So I've created like a bypass through the complete middle of my... It'll grow, but it'll, I mean, it'll come back to itself anyway, naturally. But to create that bypass, well, no, it's not really a bypass, but like a, a more of a a higher capacity road going through the center of it. That'll thank me for that in the long run. Trust me. It will solve many traffic issues. Many of them, I tell you. Many of them. It means they can go straight through rather than driving and turning and then moving down. That makes sense. Um... Right, okay, so yeah, let that do its thing then. So let me uh, set this up then, this line again. So it's 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 line one, isn't it? Yeah. So when it comes to here, the first time it comes here, we'll make it use num platform one. The second time it comes here, platform two. Right, market rate in north. And then three is that one, yeah. So that's three. So they're using a different one every time they come in. 
So it's it's a way that wherever they're coming from, it's not going to back up like it currently is right now. At least it will be separated a lot easier and a lot smoother. So again, let that do what it's got to do and actually sort itself out. They should now start producing the wheat for us over here to pick up, which they have. Which we extend the cargo. As far as possible, so we can throw in as much as possible. So it's all pretty much just ready and wait. Oh, have I just deleted a field? I've just freaking deleted a field, haven't I? Oh, man. It's annoying when I do that. Right, so yeah. It's going to have a moment until it configures itself. But it means when these areas have a large... These start to have a little bit more of a respite, don't they? And I can't really add on to this as well. Because it means I'm going to be deleting stuff. Right, I'm going to have to slightly... I'm going to have to remove that field for now. Just so I can give these. So, because these have a longer respite, it means it gives them time to build up... I don't, really, I don't really like deleting fields, but it gives it more time to build up the cargo waiting for it. Um, is that one done? Okay, so this is a different line altogether. It was on that one previously, but I will build it up on this side as well. So it'll be the same for this one once them trucks are gone. Good stuff. And again, it will take time for this line to recover back. But we're getting somewhere, boys. We'll be getting somewhere. Right, anyway. I feel there's no difference with watching this in normal speed versus fast forward. Anybody else feel the same? Because I do. I do right now. Now, I feel like we should get this. As annoying as it is. On a... Well, if I did that there, cargo... I can't really add a, another cargo line in, can I, really, to be honest? Is this being used? I feel like this is not really being used, so I'm going to delete that one. Right, if I extend this side instead... Because what this is going to do for us now, if I put where they drop, well, they pick up the food here on this one instead. So what's it called then? Is it called, it's called the food. Is it food? Yeah. So market rate and north, I make it go to number six. And the reason I do that, so when they're like, there's a lot of them waiting. They're over on this side waiting, so the traffic comes in. It's one way to make sure they don't kind of cause congestion at the entrance. That makes sense. So I've got to give that plenty of time to then tick along. This is not good. The amount of traffic running through here. How how do you solve this issue? Apart from providing really good transport lines. <laughs> I don't actually know. Well, I can figure this anyway then. So let's uh, passenger. I'm going to extend both of these. All the way to the very end. So we can have more people waiting. Which would be good. It's getting up to that side as well. Of the road. So that's perfect. It only seems to happen here, doesn't it? And I don't think, I don't think you can uh, even mess around with that kind of stuff, can you? I don't think you can. Hmm. I mean, it is the main central road that goes through, and it does, you know, cut through the, the middle of it. Maybe I should have made it like a, a road that went around the outskirts. Maybe that's what I should have done. But it is what it is now. I'll give it time to kind of clear through. It must be one of those things where it just needs a little bit of time. For stuff to pass pass round.
Or if I, because it's the only road that connects out. So maybe I add in additional roads in, in different places. So where we got that, I can connect that straight up to there. Um, would I want any more traffic on this this road? Or is that... I mean, well, to be honest, I should really be getting rid of this. Kind of create a few additional lanes. It's honestly, I've never really experienced traffic in this game, so I, I, I don't really know how to handle it. To that certain degree. But we'll see how we... We'll see how we kind of rock and rolls. We'll see how it goes. I don't want really to kind of get too carried away with that at the moment. Right, anyway. Lines. Who's making the money in? So I really have messed up my food import line. 100% messed that up now. Uh, because of everything that I've had to go through to kind of get to this point. But there is a lot of food waiting. So we just got to pick it up, take it back, and then get back over here then. So that building is over here, to be honest. So what can I do over here to kind of... Right, if I just kind of bring, I just want to try and do something a second, guys. If I bent that round to there, this is obviously gonna. Right, if I caused a connection there to there, add that go up to there. I'm not saying they're gonna use these lines, but does it update the line? Thinking it's a shorter distance. Not really, but that would be kind of cool if they did that, though. Why is the roads I've been using? 60 kilowatt, 80 ones. Does the speed of those roads change anything? Not really. But you might get a few other vehicles that choose to go down here versus cutting through, and that could slowly alleviate some of the, the congestion. But yeah, I could see some big... Palmy wants to build a bypass. Because you know that is what is going to be needed. Right, a bypass... Four lane, six lane. It's too big, that is, isn't it? But it does mean deleting a lot of these roads. Should we just do it? It's my first attempt at playing with traffic. So let me just get rid of all this. I know I'm going to do a lot of damage to this, this place. And they're probably going to hate me for it. But... I think they would rather me do this than uh, have traffic tear up their city. Come on, boy. So if I add that up to there... And... Can you move these buildings? I'm going to have to delete it. Is that too much to do that? Because do we have any traffic from Topsum, really? No, because they're using Market Drayton as the, as the, as the, the town that they bypass through. So if I just kind of, for now, go to there. And then... If I bring it to... I'm going to pause it a second. Delete all this. Delete all this. 
can't delete that because there's a vehicle on it, apparently. All right, hold on, guys. Why can't I build that road? Oh, that needs to be upgraded to the streetcar thingy, doesn't it? Oh I, can, oh, I can just upgrade it like that. That's fine. So I think there's too many connections just here, isn't there? So if I just come straight into this bit instead, or would that be too much as well? I mean, one would be nice. I'm going to pause it because they keep building. But they're going to obviously go in many different directions. So... I'm thinking roundabout. Anybody else thinking roundabout? I have to delete all that, unfortunately. I don't like doing this stuff, but it's just like, I'm going to have to do it, aren't I? Right, where's my roundabouts? Streets... Have you not unlocked them yet? I know roundabouts exist. So maybe not them. Right, where was we? Right, if I bring you to here then. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> so you can go in many different ways. Um, there's not tram lines connected to it, is there? So I've got to now kind of upgrade these. The tram line only really needs to connect up to there. So I go to there. So that's the tram line connected back. Even I can get it to go straight down here instead. Easy enough. And I'm hoping that I'll use this as the bypass with Market Drayton. We've got a thicker line for the center of the town as well, which would help the traffic in general. But I'm hoping that bypass is, is perfect for it because it feels like it would be a lot quicker. All right, let's see who uses it then. Also, let's have a look at the lines. So it's updated the yellow line to go down here. The trams have updated to go down there as well. So there we go. Right, we've done some good. Some vehicles are starting to use it. Yeah, so there's got to be some benefit in it. And when we've unlocked roundabouts, I can do roundabouts on junctions. Which would be pretty sweet. Right, they've still got no food. So I might have to throw some extra vehicles on some extra lines. But Market Drain can now flourish, knowing that it's got good good infrastructure to a certain degree. <laughs> Look at the chart. Look at it. Everything's dipped since I deleted everything. My bad, guys. My bad. Please don't hurt me. Please don't cry. Um, right. So where doesn't have... Oh, man. I'm about to say, where doesn't have, like, good wheat? They've all got a lot of wheat, so I might need a few extra vehicles now on the line to start giving us some more. I mean, stored is 50. So they've got the goods. They've just got to send the vehicles out with it. So that's not the issue right now, to be honest with you. Just getting that stuff down here, to be honest. Right, so that... Has got a lot of stuff stored. We just need the shipment to increase before we can upgrade and get the extra production in. I'll take it, mate. I'll take it. I mean, these vehicles do store 12, so it does take a little bit of a time to kind of fill them up. 
But we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Right. That's all good then. Lines. So back to these lines. The ship line. The CT line here. So finances. Last year made stonks. This year. Where is it? It is... Where is the train? Ah, it's going up right now. So not as much money... Well, it didn't really make much money there. Which is a shame, really, that it doesn't. So maybe I'm going to have to add in a few extra carts on. Or just change the vehicle that chugs it along. Right, let's really kind of look at this again. So we have, no, I don't want to replace the vehicle. I want to edit it. So we have this one. So I get, let's just kind of uh, take it. Loading, it's got loading speeds, hasn't it? Yeah. Nothing really changes. Steam. No, yeah, nothing really changes. Oh, we got our first diesel one. Wow! Does 120? Look at the power. Not great. But look at the how much it costs a year. All right, which makes it mediocre. I'm going to modify it to that. It's like half the price a year to run. Right, where is the, the train? So, obviously, it's going to take time to get up to speed and whatnot. But it can go up to 120 if it can get up there. So, that's really going to cut the finances down. Happy about that. Right, where's the ship? The ship's over here. That, again, never really makes the money, but we've never really you know, thought of it that it was going to make the money. Because, you know, it's just to get the passenger line up and alive. Now, we need food. Food is what we need. Um, okay, down here. So, we got a plant there, but then we also have this here. Get those goods, the wheat from there and there, to be honest with you. So here, or is there a closer place that produces it? I know we got this, but I don't really want to mess with that. And then we got backlogs of traffic. All right, extend this a little bit longer. Well, that should be able to have all the vehicles in there. Damn, we couldn't we couldn't get anything stored in there for a second, could we? No wonder that wasn't moving. They're the little issues we got to play around with. Uh, right, yeah. So apart from that one, is it anywhere closer? There's all wheat down here and wheat there. There's yeah. So there's a building here, which is simple enough. I could create a boat. That picks up from these three places. Ships it down to here. And then could quite possibly then ship it up to here. That's a re... Wow. Don't even lie to... What vehicle is that? That train. Sorry guys. I've just been now sidetracked by that. Right. So this finances. Our overview. Manage vehicle. Uh, edit. So it does 90. Oh, it doesn't have the pulling power. I was going to freaking say, mate. That's crazy. Uh, right, yes. Yeah, so having a shipping route like that would be quite nice. And it will feed Brentford. But where, yeah, where's the food needed? How did, what, what was the view that I needed again? Uh, ship in. Ah, it's, okay, it's pretty much all on this side, which is handy. Right, I'm going to have to destroy a couple of buildings now. So yeah, we're going to do a ship in cargo lane. Something that we haven't done yet. Oh, this is interesting. How am I going to get... I've got to, I've got to do some terraforming here, haven't I? To kind of push this back slightly so I can reach that. 
Um, right, okay, so terrain then. I want the flattened smooth, the flattened tool. Bring the brush size up. Oh, damn, this is going to cost us a fortune. I bring that brush size right up. So just look at the colour of the water, you can kind of see. Is that a smooth tool? Right, is that then enough? Okay, I may have gone a little bit too far. <laughs> that's hilarious. Boy, that's hilarious. Right, is that enough? Ha ha! There we go. And I need one over here, which is going to be quite fun to set a little route up now. So, could I potentially use this to ship anything else in the future? Tools wise, I could maybe bring over. I mean, if that got the planks and the the wood there, that will produce machinery. Which which one over here needs machinery? Rugby does. So if I get it close to rugby, actually, I could just leave it here and just create a depot, couldn't I? To be honest, depot is also good enough. So push that right in, and then now let's just kind of uh, set up a road. Which will take... Do I take it from there? Or should we take it from up here? Let's just take from there. So, we just need to drop stuff off. In theory, don't we? So, we drop the wheat off there. Which ships it to over here, which picks up the processed food to there. That's not bad. <laughs> That's actually quite easy. And I could eventually then set it up where it then takes the machinery stuff to there. So when it drops off the, the bread, the food, and then picks up the machinery to bring it there. So every line the ship does, it will be making money, which is perfect. Which is actually more than perfect. Right, okay. A K K K. So let's get the 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 kind of things set up for this ship then. So where should I put this? Should we put it on no, I'm gonna put it on that island. Let's just put and pull it over here next to it there. That's fine. Alright, you know what I didn't do? I didn't name that line. This is now our What's going on? I thought I had capital locks on then. Grain. Import. There we go. Even though it should be classed as wheat, but it is grain, isn't it? Yeah. So, new line then. Which goes from there. To there. To there. And back. That's simply what it does. And we call it... Um, Oh, food, no, Zodiac, food, ship, there we go, easy enough, food, shipping line, so then I'm going to get with the vehicles, buildings, we can drop it off this side, still works, because the vehicles will come on, they drive on that side of the road, and then I need one of these each, don't I? Need the cargo ones. Oh, have I just put a bus stop down, by the way? I may or may not just put a bus stop down. I'm not 100%, but if I just do this quickly, at least I know I've got it right. Right, truck and load stop. There we go. Nice. So then a new line for this, then. Simply just goes bam, 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 bam. Easy. 
So I'll call this our grain import two. So both of them lines are now set up. I just gotta buy the vehicles, connect them to it, and then we're Gucci boys. We Gucci. So where the closest vehicle depot is just here, so I might as well start with this one then. So buy vehicles, cargo. Now obviously you need to make sure it's collecting up the grain, which is this one. And we'll buy. Because it might seem like a lot, but the ship might be was gonna hold a lot of cargo, isn't it? So if I just go with 10, again, it might seem like a lot. So buy 10. Put them on this green import two. There we go. Which I don't think these will start producing grain just yet. Until I set up a, or give a reason for the boat to do its thing. So cargo. You see what I mean? We got some big boys here. Some big boys. So this will eventually bring back, well, grain, then the food. And it will also bring back machines too. So that will be a good boat to do. Which can hold a lot of cargo. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> right, this ship goes on the food ship line here. Um, no path big. Oh, oh. I think that's for this one here, isn't it? It's going to be this little area. So if I just check these little shipping routes and then do some terraforming them. So push this back. And then we're smoothing it all off. Could be a little bit of an issue over here too with this. So I'm just going to terraform all this. Smooth and wonderfully just off right now. There we go. Right, so would that work then? No, still no. Oh, is it clipping? It's clipping this all this stuff here, isn't it? Uh, the path we found, uh, but only small ships allowed. Consider use it. Oh, wait, you don't think it's the actual this itself configure. Build a large dock. Cargo. So that goes there. Landing. That's what I need to do, isn't it? That's what I need to do. So I need to do it to each one. Your boy realizes now. So it's not having a not enough room. It's having the freaking space for this. So it doesn't need to be as big as this, but hey ho, landing. Oh, okay, maybe we do on this side. Right, if I did that, then then landing, it should land here. Wonderfully. There we go, and then we got to do it on this one as well. So I've got plenty of room to do it on this one. There's no issues over here. There we go. Landing. Just there. So that now should work. Still no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The line. I've got to change the line, haven't I? So here. So what's this one? This is Upper Prescott to go to there. That's what i got to do. So it's pretty much on two of each one. So let me just double check. That goes to there, yeah. That one goes to there, yeah. Man, the pain I'm going through right now to get this up and running. There we go. That is now working. So that comes out. So now we got the line. That means it can take stuff from there to over to here. Now our farm should start producing stuff. Very shortly anyway. Let's just start producing. Yeah, there's wheat now going into this one. Good. So let's configure these then. So we can store as much on it as possible, which will be, again, a big benefit. And then do the same over here. 
So these are like everything else. Over time, once they understand the demand, they'll just increase and increase and increase. Let's go fast forward mode then. So there's nothing here for the ship just yet. So by the time it comes back for another loop, there'll be goods for it. So yeah, this is not really dropping anything off at the moment. What's this line like? Where does it go? Oh, they turn just there, so that's fine for them. So I think I've got it set up on that um, food line. Uh, food, no, grain import two. So Blexley North, wait for a full load. Rugby Central, wait for a full load. So wherever they're going, we're waiting for full loads. That way, you know, we're making money when it moves. So this has already now got 11 there waiting. And what can that hold again, sorry? 220. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to make no money over to here, to there. It's not until it comes back to here and it does it again. But when it drops off the first bit of grain over here, it's going to take another turn around before this starts producing the food. And then it would drop it over there. And then Bedford can start growing exponentially. Which could then potentially mean I need to do its own bypass. But at the moment, things are looking okay. Ish. So we also need, by the looks of it, secondary bypasses. So if I went for, is that too big? Like a little bypass this way? Oh, let me delete, delete that. Up to here. So a little, a little bypass there for rugby. If you're heading down towards uh, Bexley, it's there. And then we have room to do another bypass that way if needs be. So that should be it. So rather than going straight up to turn to go down, you got a beautiful little bypass right there. And you rather have the traffic here. I, I can't wait till we've unlocked roundabouts. We just don't have them at the moment, do we? What's this? Um, street modification tools. Oh, we do have roundabouts, sorry. I do beg your pardon. How do I... Yeah, we do. Okay, pause. Oh, hang on, pause. Right, let's drop a roundabout here. I thought we did. Should I go quite big on this roundabout? No, I got three lanes on it. Can we upgrade that to be like like larger? Wait, it's gonna be a one-way street. Oh, it's in your, it's a one-way street, isn't it? I forget about that. Um, right. Okay, so that would connect to there. That connects to there, and because this is a simple one. To there but remember it's 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 a roundabout right street modifications that's all we need to do for the tram oh do, do i have to do the whole roundabout as it i yeah i i assume i do but that's my first go at a roundabout in the game which just keeps the traffic flowing that's simply all it does which is quite quite good I don't, oh, we've got autosave at the moment. We'll need it in, in, in other various spots as well, but I'll wait for this little brand new bypass to just tick along before I see how it goes. Anywhere else we, we, we could see the need for one? Here would be a good shout. And, uh, oh, Topsom's looking like it needs some sort of something. Where's the traffic coming from? That's causing it. Is it just literally coming out of Topsom? Because I've got some ideas on what I could do. Right, pause. Alright, delete all that. Oh, there's a vehicle there. I hate it when there's a vehicle there, man. It's so annoying. Uh, so it means I'm not going to be able to drop down my roundabout now. Well, then again, I could... 
It's not the end of the world. Well, if I put you here... Alright, so there. No issues, no biggies. That one goes to there. And then what road do I need? Well, i got to do the whole roundabout because of the trams. So that becomes a nice little roundy there. And then what I'm thinking of is... Right, delete this, this, and this. For a second... And then, let's go for a roundabout here. Let's go the full 60, quite large. So what I could do here, something a little bit different. So, that is a... No, it's not one of those. It's one of these. Connects to there. And then we can have multiple connections coming off it. So I could have that... Go to here. Which will then have a connection there, has a connection there. Then we could have a road. Does that become a bypass to anywhere else? It would do for Woking come here. So if I went like that, as if that was the eventual bypass for Wokingham. Is it called Wokingham? Walking come, walking come. It's one of them. Which means that would go to there. And then kills off that because you're either coming... If you're from this side of the town, you're going to there. If you're from this side of the town, you're pretty much coming down to this way, aren't you? Or I could just have that connection there. So what do I need to upgrade for the trams? Oh no, I don't want to upgrade that like that. What am I doing? Street modifications. Right, I gotta do the whole roundabout as always. Trams go down there. Right. We'll just then see how that ticks along. Because then adding the roundabout obviously then makes it like not the traffic not stop. It will take a while for this backlog to clear through. But as vehicles are using different sides and different connections, it's not really adding onto the back of this queue. So you might get them here and there, but nothing to worry about. Nice little roundabout where roads split in different ways. And that's one way, like I said, we can handle the traffic. This is completely cleared over here. It has, hasn't it? Might need a small roundabout here, to be honest, but it looks okay for now. Right, good stuff then. So, we've got over here now 252 pieces of wheat awaiting. I don't know if it can hold any more than it currently is. Oh no, it can. It definitely can. Not sure where it's going to store it. So where's the ship then? The ship's just over here. So let me check the... Okay, I just wanted to check the finance for a second there just to make sure that obviously it hasn't made any money yet. No, it hasn't. So we're just playing the waiting game. But there's a lot of, you know, grains there waiting for it, which is good for us. Right. Now, do we extend... this here we might need to add onto the buses to transfer the people i'm just looking like where this train station is i mean people can get to and from it fairly easy there's no biggies there i'm gonna just leave it for now just leave it for now and see what happens so the shipment line for the passengers borderline making money the market to top some market to top some now, is that suffering because I've just edited all the roads? I feel like it that might have been the issue there. 
We now have vehicles. The backlog in vehicles right now. So I gotta find ways in which I can get them to take different lanes. Or it's just really upgrading that public transport. I feel like I need to add in the train line at this point. Don't you feel like it? I need to just tear through the complete middle of the cities and add in these train lines. Because there's only so much you can do, right? It's like, I've, it's like I've upgraded all these road systems, but I'm not making any money out of it. So it's a weird one. So Mark the top some. Not really feeling the love right now, but it's because all the trams are stuck in traffic. That's pretty much what it's like at the moment. Where are the trams anyway? It's all connected, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, there's a tram. Any trams up here? There's one that's about to pull in. Makes 94,000. Oh, it makes quite a bit of money. I didn't realize how much it made per each one. So, Mark, okay, it's back in profit. I think I think it's just because I deleted a lot of the road. It's kind of had a little bit of a wobbler. So we're back up and running. The food line, nothing just yet. So we're pretty much now just down to the food line. The CT line, making half a million in profit. So that's took a huge turn ever since we upgraded things. So that's good. Where's this ship anyway? So the ship's here, which it's now currently filled to the brim uh, with grain. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep that up for a moment because I want to see how much that actually makes. So these are dropping the food off as well, which is good. Doing its thing. Beautiful. But yeah, I think next episode, guys, we're going to look at doing the train line through these through town, uh, three towns. It's going to be needed. It's going to be heavily needed. I mean, I could semi do like a little loop here for, for even including Epworth as well. Do a loop there, and then this one goes, this one could then go down to Blexley. Extend that line to Blexley. Unless I included these two towns here. Hmm. Anyway, where's this boat? Oh, hang on, I've lost my bearings. Where am I? Okay, the ship's coming in right now. I bet you this is going to make a couple of million. Do you know what? Now I've said that, I don't think it will. But I reckon it will make a million with the sheer amount of grain on board and the distance that it has to travel is pretty high. So it will drop the grain off and then it will disappear to um, Brentford. It won't be to this, the, this, the next time it comes to this place. That's when there will be bread or food waiting for it. So it will drop off the goods then. And it makes 2.2 million. That's actually really good. Way better than I was expecting. So finances through the roof. Already it's made profit on the year. Because if that was the previous running costs, made money. Easy. Made money for quite some years. That's made more, that's made, that's in profit its whole lifetime, considering it's only made money on the fourth year. That's got now a lot, um, kind of made, so that will now start storing food at the dock. Like I said, that has nothing on board now. So that will just kind of sail up to there and then back here. And then before it does another loop. There's plenty of food waiting here. I mean, it could have come to the point where I could have a secondary ship sailing around. Because it makes, you know, a nice chunk of change. Hmm. That could be interesting. So, yeah, 100% next episode, guys. We are going to get rid of our tram lines and set up the train route from Rugby, Market Drayton, to Topsom. Yes. Yes, we freaking are, boys. And it's going to be glorious. So, I'm going to have to do a lot of upgrades as well and get everything all up and running. But... We've done quite a bit today. We have really have kind of fine-tuned it. We've literally doubled our profit. Uh, isn't our... Um, where's our headquarters? 
Didn't I place it in Market Drayton Place? Did I place it? I, I've literally forgotten where I placed it. And I have no idea where it is. Industry Town. Um, I'm so confused to where I originally pull it. And how do I find it? <laughs> I'm sure I placed it here somewhere. Or is it just me? How do you build it in general anyway? Do I select the earnings here? Headquarters. Do you know, I, I don't even know where it is. Right, I'm gonna replay. I'm gonna. Do you know what? I'm gonna replace it down. Now. See, I don't know where it is. I'm just gonna randomly put it here. There we go. Just so I can see it. So the company score is 16. I don't know if that's good or not. The value, it's almost a half a billion dollar company, which is genius. Genius. In terms of lines right now, the CT line is not making any money, but again, oh, there you go. Now it is. Market to top some. Yeah, it's struggling to make money. So I, I, I can see that we're going to need train. So we, we're going to have to come away from the tram because the negative to the tram line is trams get caught up in traffic so if i had a train line the trains have no traffic to 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 see or to beat so that would be the benefit for that um the food shipment line losing money currently but again what do you expect it's got a, it's got a couple of loops to go before it makes any money whatsoever when it does eventually come back to the food place there is 105 food waiting for it we're losing money on the passenger shipment line. Yeah, Mark's up. So where's the other tram lines? The market to um, Blacksley to Rugby and Market to Rugby. They they are making money. They're doing pretty good. But then again, they don't really have much traffic to contend with, do they? They literally don't. All right, where's Topsum here? So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tear through it. So it goes through the middle. Through the middle of market drain, and which is already quite handy because we've already torn some of this up. Uh, which is then going to link up to this station here, which this will be the transfer for all the other ones in rugby. We're going to use rugby as the uh, transfer line. So we have to create create like quite a nice station for this. And then once we've got all the stations up and running, then we'll do bus lines from around each town to the, the central station, which would be quite nice. We have to upgrade some this passenger train that we currently have. Got some new trucks as well. Which is uh, going to be pretty sweet. So, do you know what I might do? Because this is still struggling for food, in in many ways. If I take the um, where is it the the grain import, which is the green one, all these vehicles, and if I replace them from what they currently are, which is these that hold fourteen, that can hold twenty one. I know. I'm surprised I haven't already upgraded into these trucks. No, again, they hold 13. They hold 14. So at times three load speed 14, they are 21 times four load speed. So if I just do it to the grain line, that will then just bring more grain in general. Even though there's already so much stored in here, it just can't produce anymore. I need to do, to do more shipment, don't I? But there's not a lot I can do about that. Not a lot. But anyway, guys, we're going to end it for here. We've got many, many plans to kind of get up with and face. Uh, this boat is now about to bring in another load in. And it's got 105. So it, out of that full shipment, it made 105 food. Out of that full shipment that it brought in. That's actually pretty good. That's really good. So here's the finances then. Not bad. It's going to make another 2.2 million. But the difference is now, when it goes back that way, it's going to make money too. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all well soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>